Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the brand new character for this weekend. It is Shayna Baszler, the Queen of Spades. Um, first Shayna in the game, so I'm excited to see somebody new. Um, a lot of people were thinking her or um, a second Natalia, Queen of Hearts, or another Charlotte, or Queen Sherry. Uh, so sticking with the queen and the royalty theme, we do have the queen of spades herself. Uh, let's take a look at the character. So she is a modern era technician. Her coach ability. Um, so it's the same as the Connecticut Blue Blood Triple H. Uh, botch gems at 9k do 15% more damage and moves that generate botch gems will create one more botch gem. Take a look at her links. Um, she has a tag link with Nia Jax. Uh, take 80% less gem damage. So this, to me, is to counter the Naomi and Lana tag link, but also maybe an attempt to make Nia Jax viable off of the hot tag. Uh, basically set up the board for her, tag her in with a Fury set, and smack the opponent and they can't kick out. Possibly, we'll see. Um, and she has the raw link for one more starting move point and the modern era gems do five percent more damage and just the standard set of gear so uh important to note she is not a clone of seamus so we can do a good preview on her i'm going to show a three star move set a four star move set and a five star move set um, and then stay tuned for my Run It Back series on her where I will play test a little more and see what kind of outrageous numbers I can hit. So the first moveset we're going to look at is the three star moveset. It is double black with the finisher. So the finisher is a running knee, 15 charge. Um, at five silver, deal 154,249 damage. Choose seven gems to destroy and pin the opponent. Black 1 is the back suplex, 6 MP charge, deal 20,804 damage, and choose a 4x3 area to swap into green gems. Uh, curious to see how that scales at lower rarities. Black 2 is the vertical suplex, 5 charge, deal 19,219 damage, and choose 4 gems to make into 1 turn countdown gems that will deal 19,219 damage and modify a two by three random area into multiply gems of strength five. Again, curious to see how that scales at lower rarities, but this is what the specs are at five silver. So for this move set, I'm going to do a green gem focus. Um, I'm not gonna use Matt Hardy um, out of respect for people that don't have him and therefore can't use that play style. Um, so we're going to do just green gem damage focus. So I'm using Bray Wyatt to start with more black MP. Tech Booker for 35% more green gem damage. Showboat Lacey for 20% more green, green gem damage. That, it gets really hard to say after a while. <laughs> and uh, Tech Cena, just because he's there for 5% more um, green gem damage as well. Wow, that is a tongue twister. All right, for the belt. Uh, the ideal would be to use a green percent metal for the finisher. Um, I have neither a green percent nor a black flat in Fury. So we're going to go with a black percent, just 60% more damage. I know it's not super, super ideal, but it's something. Uh, going with a full Fury set and 5% more damage, so our base boost with all the substats and stuff is 51% to our gems. Um, in terms of skill plates, uh, she focuses on board destruction. So you'd want a two words for you plate or a blue bomber or a chaotic blast. Um, the black moves are fairly low charge. So I f don't feel like you would need to use a plate that gains black MP. And uh, yeah, Again, the finisher is 15 charge, but with the multiply gems, that's going to charge itself just fine. So we're going to try this out against uh, Hall of Fame Lita, and uh, let's uh, let's see how she plays. We're 
her character model looks great. They did a very good job with her. That gear looks sick too. Black and gold. Wow, who would have thought that I would have liked that. So. I'm going to hit the vertical suplex. And we're going to choose countdown gems that she hopefully won't break. So let's go down there. And I'm going to wait until the countdown gems um, go off. And then I'm going to place the four by three area over the multiply gems that it throws down. And the hope there is that we'll just have a big girl pin. Um, so she'll probably take these blues she, but I, I want to see if I can keep as much green on the board as possible. If I take these blues, she's going to take some green. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. All right. So. Beauty. Beauty. All right. She's a four by three area to swap into green gems. So. Four by three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, that's the spot. That's the spot right there. So back suplex. Four by three area into green gems. Slapped her into next week and broke the game. Good lord! Million pin. Good Lord. We didn't even need to use the finisher. Um, but you would use the finisher to pick off your black gems and refill everything. Um, that was wild. I wasn't expecting it to be that impressive out the gate. Um, you know when you hit a million pin on your first go, uh, it's a good character. So, very impressed already. Um, let's continue on with the preview and take a look at a four-star moveset for her. Four-star moveset, we're going to run double purple with green two. So purple one is the roundhouse kick, five MP, deal 18,030 damage and choose a two by three area to make into botch gems. Purple two is shoot kicks, seven MP, deal 33,619 damage and make five random gems into purple gems. And green two is the Yokozuna cutter, one MP, deal 4,755 damage plus 53,103 bonus damage for every botch gem. That is not a typo. Uh, Entourage. I'm gonna use Woods for more starting purple MP. I'm uh, gonna use Seamus to boost the um, damage per botch gem even more. Um, ideal coaches, if you have Connecticut Blue Blood Triple H for more botch gem damage, that would be ideal. If you have Hall of Fame Eddie for more purple gems, that would be ideal. I have neither, so I'm just leaving the green gem damage on because I'm lazy and I don't want to remove it. Um, so, and the belt, if you have a head games plate, that would be the ideal plate, I think. Um, I've swapped to half fury, half armor, just because I have a flat green metal in armor, so I'm keeping the set bonus alive. We're going to use the glowing phantom plate. Maybe not super necessary, but with that green move being 1 MP, we could possibly hit it multiple times in a turn. So that's the theory there. So let's give this a run. So with our Turpix, everything's ready to go. Hit the roundhouse kick. Uh, two by three. 
make box gems, hit the cutter, and you see the flat uh, green metal helps that move quite a bit. So damage per botch gem, 430,000. Shoot kicks, nice, and we got that to hit, so we can hit the cutter again. Another 430 damage. Um, I know we're going to be taking away botch gems, but I need to mash purple. So we'll, uh, just in case we don't hit. So we'll do that. Hit the cutter. She's in danger. Shoot kicks. And then we got a, a cats are fighting. Sorry, uh, got a cascade, so it's going to be easy to get the pin. Probably the one issue with this move set is being able to. I need my cats to stop fighting. I'm sorry. Hold on. Cut it out. Okay. Thank you. Um, the issue with this moveset is maybe not being able to pin. Palmer, do you want to come do the preview with me? No? Okay, then be quiet. Thank you. Um, the life of a cat lady, hey? Um... So, like, we've moved the pin bar enough because she's in danger. The issue is probably, like, there's no finisher. This makes botch gems. It doesn't move the pin bar. This does damage per. doesn't move the pin bar. So you'll have to hope that you get enough purple gems either to cascade or in a position where you can get a four break or a five break and end the match. Um, but very powerful. Just slowly chip away at the health with all the botch gems. Again, if you have um, Connecticut Blue Blood, you could make that green one move, the green two one MP move even stronger. Um, so yeah, I super enjoy that move set. Head Games Plate would make that insane, I think. Um, but super good, super viable. So two very solid move sets so far. Let's carry on and look at her five star set. Five star set is going to be double black with green three. So we're bringing back the back suplex and the vertical suplex. So the multiply gem um, play style again. And green three is a release German suplex. So it's a uh, suplex city, bitch. Um, don't be alarmed by the fact that the release German is 20 MP to charge. If you're making a 4x3 area into green gems, that's 12. And if you can clip even like two of the multiply gems, you're going to charge it. You're going to pin, but it's going to be charged next turn anyways. Um, so like initially it looks abrasive, but with multiply gems at that high of a base and the area you're turning into green is substantial, um, it shouldn't be as uh, scary. But it's uh, also may want to consider running it instead of the finisher if you ever get to it because of the move damage. At 5 silver, it's deal 221,902 damage and destroy 5 random black gems. So for the entourage, we're going back to the people we used for the first move set. I don't feel the need to have uh, somebody destroying more black gems because the countdowns are 5 MP and the other suplex is 6 MP. So we're going to go back to a green gem focus, Bray Wyatt for more black MP, and then Tech Booker, Showboat Lacey, and Tech Cena. Um, I've made one change to the belt, and that is we've brought in the blue bomber plate. So a 50% chance to create two random blast gems each time you use a signature move or swipe a gem. So 
She's, da she's gem damage based in this moveset, so we're going for board destruction, bringing that one in. Again, two words for you, plate, would work just as well. Let's see how this one works. So we're going to use the vertical suplex. We're going to choose our countdown gems. Again, they're only one turn. We want to put them somewhere where she's not going to destroy them, and we're going to wait for them to actually have the effect go off uh, before we hit black two. So, um, let's take that. Ooh, maybe we can stack? Maybe we can stack? stacking necessary no are we gonna try it yes Ooh, we got the plate to go off um she's gonna put down multiply gems but i just want to try it i just want to try this See if we can't cover like a good portion of the board with multiplies. Yeah, we covered up our blast gems, but we've got we've got a nice little spot over here. So hit the back suplex. All these times fives, meaning, again, with the um, hitting her so hard it freezes the game. But you see the uh, 15 charge means, hello, McFly. It really froze the game. There we go. So 64,000 per green gem. We're getting there. There we go. Another 941,000 pin. Ooh. Oh, I was hoping she'd kick out for a sec. But as you can see, it charged that green move no problem. And then you can just recycle. So 20 charge, but it's not looking like when we run it that way, it's not looking like you even need the finisher or green three. So it doesn't really matter which move you use with the double black uh, because double black on its own is going to pin and it's going to be a big pin. So I want to run one more match here after I restart blue stacks. Um, I'm going to see if I can find a tag match to show off that tag link with Nia Jax. All right, so I found a female female tag match on the road. We are in Royal Rumble Tour round six, normal match 10 against Banks and Bailey. So their tag link is matching any color gems charge moves of that color by two more move points. And our tag link is take 80% less gem damage. So with 20% armor from the belt and the tag link, we have, and substats, we have a base of 104% gem defense. And then with a fury setup and multiply gems, um, this gonna hurt, I think. I think this is gonna hurt. Um, I haven't changed the belt or the move set at all, so so let's toss out the countdowns.
Let's toss out more countdowns. Let's do it again. It's not even necessary we have a spot right here. But let's at least get the let's do a little bit of move damage. Uh, so base of twelve thousand per green gem times five, we're at sixty-three thousand. If we hit a crit, that could be seventy-two or something. And she's a showboat, so I don't think she's kicking out anyways. And with a hundred and four percent gem defense. Well, it didn't entirely for all oh, it did freeze the game. Wow. Okay. You can do it. There we go. So, 904,000. And her gems are not nearly strong enough. That's gross. So. What would be fun, I really wish we had female-female showdowns back now because we are bringing tag links for female tags that are actually worth a damn. So I would love to see uh, Shayna Naya with the 80% gem defense versus Naomi Lana with their gem damage. Um, I think we're moving in that direction, folks. I think we're moving in that direction. Alright, so that concludes my preview of Shayna Baszler, Queen of Spades. Um, very strong. We desperately needed a standout female technician, and my personal belief is that we finally got it. She's very good. She's very versatile. Um, again, it'd be interesting to see how the moves scale in terms of area at lower rarities, but regardless, she is, she's very good. And you don't need um, paywalled trainers or coaches to make her good, which is excellent. Um, so let me know your thoughts on the character in general. Um, I desperately want her. Um, and my Lex Luger and my Tech Brett desperately want her coaching ability. Um, so this is definitely a character I would like to go after. We'll see how likely that is with the weekend event. Uh, but let me know what moveset you like. Let me know what you think of the character in general. Be sure to stay tuned for my Run It Back series where I playtest the moves a little more and I showcase my favorite moveset with a bit of insanity damage. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching. Take care.